coated paper. Susano produces a range of printing papers of various specifications, colors, calipers, finishes, and sizes. Learn more about our line of coated paper and its manufacturing process. The paper used for fine printing, such as magazines and art books. Also used in promotional materials and catalogs. The eucalyptus logs, grown in 100% renewable plantations and certified by the FSC, are already debarked, cleaned and peeled before transport. Once they arrive at our factory, they are placed on a crawler and lead to a chipping machine that turns them into wood chips. Right after that, a conveyor belt transports them to the storage silo. Another conveyor belt transports the wood chips to a digester, where the wood cooking process begins. For a whiter pulp, the bleaching process occurs through a chemical process that allows the pulp to become ECF bleached, or elemental chlorine free, and then it goes to the storage tower. The pulp proceeds to the refining process, increasing the flexibility of the fibers, achieving the necessary physical characteristics of the final product, the coated paper, also known as couché paper. The wood pulp is diluted to a proper consistency for the production of paper. Typically a proportion of 1% fiber and 99% water. This mix is distributed on a sheet-forming conveyor screen in order to obtain a uniform sheet of paper with a pre-established weight. The sheet of paper passes through upper and lower drying cylinders with controlled temperature, drying the sheet evenly on both sides. The already formed paper sheet receives the first application of couché coating on both sides. In the post-drying stage, the sheet travels between drying cylinders for the final humidity control of the paper. The final coated paper process is calendaring in order to gain a more uniform and smooth texture. A scanner crosses the edges of the paperboard sheet, measuring all characteristics of paper to ensure that it meets all the required specifications. At the end of the process, the sheet is wound on a metal rod, producing what we call a jumbo roll. For the production of the coated paper, the ready-made paper is electronically analyzed to verify that any imperfection is detected and corrected. Once approved, the sheet proceeds to the dyeing machine where it receives ink on both sides. In two steps, the sheet travels between a guiding roller and one ink-coated roller and then passes through a group of dryers. After receiving another layer of ink on the other side, it proceeds to yet another dryer and is wound again. This forms a coated jumbo roll. At the end of this process, the paper already has a matte finish. For the production of gloss coated, the paper goes through another calendaring process to obtain the desired smooth and shiny appearance of a gloss finish. Now completely ready with a shiny or matte finish, the paper will have two finishes according to demands, rolls or sheets. For the production of rolls, the parent roll is unwound and cut by circular knives, then forming smaller rolls that are wound around cardboard tubes and proceed to the packaging section.
and then to the expedition. For the production of sheets, similar smaller rolls head for the cutting machine where they are unwound and receive a finely controlled edge cutting finish resulting in their final width which is then cut by rotating in the transverse cutters. The cut sheets are counted automatically by photocells. Stacked and will receive two types of packaging. Package. The packaging machine receives a stack of papers that will be separated into reams, which are individually packed and stacked on pallets, receiving their labeling with the type of finish, and go to shipping. Skids. A single stack of sheets is stacked on a pallet then wrapped and labeled and sent to shipping.